active, welcome to your workout from home. Uh, even if you were thinking, hmm, what to do today, I have an amazing workout where you cannot refuse not to do it. It's gonna be a little bit of combo where we can use kettlebells, we can use also dumbbells, but also we can use our own body weight. And we will have those small segments where we'll try to sweat it out with the body weight. So perfect combo with no excuses, right? If you have a set of dumbbells, three, four, five, six pounds, that's perfect. If you have any type of kettlebell, that's also perfect. If you do not have anything of it, as I said, I got you, no worries. Uh, my name is Mia and I hope you're gonna enjoy this workout. We will start with the warm up. So shoulder roll, you know me already for that one. If you've done any workouts with me, you know I always start from head to toe with the shoulder rolls. I don't know why, I just wake up perfectly with this motion. So, maybe you will find your reason why you like shoulder rolls too for the warm up. There we go. Don't forget you can also take any breaks you need. I'm here to guide you and grab water whenever you need. Get those hips. If you've never ever done anything with kettlebell, I will also show you step by step what you need to be mindful of for the swing. If that is something you do not want to do today, there will be variations and options with dumbbells, so no worries. Switch side. Lean two to the front and push your hips slightly down and back. Eyes gaze on the floor and then naturally up front. You will feel the stretch in the back side of your thighs. There we go. Last two. And one more. Perfect. Upper body, we're gonna stay in the rotation, right, left. Elbow slightly to the front. We're using core and reach, reach. That's good. Perfect. From here, hands up. That's good, team. Both hands in the air, push up, down. Drive those elbows to the rib cage and open up. Full, nice rotation. Bend the elbow. And you feel also stretch across your chest. One more round, open up to the back. Swimming time. And bend the elbows. Every set of joints, we need to warm up properly and prepare body for the workout. March it out. Get those elbows. If this is confusing, both elbows at the same time, in or out. Remember, you're the boss. There we go, just keep marching, keep the rhythm, pump the blood. Warm up time. Three, two, one. Give me a knee lift, walk, walk, knee lift. Lift that knee higher than you would probably usually do. Try touch the heel, that's good. From here, stretch the leg. Try touch the toes on the side. Brace your belly, that's good. And reach. Two more. And march it out. Breathe. If you're ready, and I'm sure you are, we're gonna start with our first workout and first um, exercise. We will start with the perfect swing. Full mobility swing, how to do that? Whatever you're taking, either 10 pounds or 12 pounds or bigger one, make sure, bend those knees when you place your kettlebell up and down. You will use hinge from a hip and bend first. Few times, that's what we had before. Lean and up. Reach with your hands towards the handle. 
and coming up. So we're gonna slowly prepare body to be ready to do the swing. It's called full mobility swing. So mobility plays a huge role in it and you want to improve it. And this is perfect workout for you. Two more. Last one, you're gonna grab, lift up, and place down. So you feel up, place down. Make sure don't arch your back, squeeze your bum. You got this. Two more times. From here, drive those arms and then start bending and swinging. Make sure arms stay long in front of the chest. Ground yourself into those heels. That's good. Whole body engaged. Squeeze. You got this. In any point, you want to feel slightly into your glutes, into your hamstrings, quads. 10 seconds left. Stay with me. Ooh, baby. Woo. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Bend the knees. Lift the kettlebell. Shake it off. This time, we're going to bring the add-on. We're going to bring one swing, one half beat. Half beat, I'm sure if you've done we care about any workout, you heard the terminology. But if you haven't, one swing, one half beat. Sit low, and you're going in a full squat. Tap it. There we go. Now we're going to bring the add on. We're going to bring the two swings and half beat. Boom. Don't worry about the rhythm. Three swings, half beat. Nice. Four swings, half beat. Yes. Five, three. Keep squeezing the glutes, half beat. We're going backwards. Four. Exhale. Half beat, arms long. Ground yourself into heels, three. Half beat, give me two more. Woo! And last one, and this is your first set. And time, shake it off. Give me thumbs up and high five. I know you're doing great, so. Just, we're gonna have one more exercise with kettlebell and I'm gonna move to the dumbbells and some stuff with the body weight. So we're gonna use the swing in a half beat. From there, we're gonna bring option, burpee with one hand on it, or you can just go single arm burpee, up to you. If there is a restriction and reason why not to do that like that, you can also tap it down. Full swing, half beat, and switch the legs. Let's go. Squeeze the bum. You can alternate the arms. Yes. Squeeze it. Nice full palm. Open. There we go. I wanted to swing two times. That's good team. Make sure you don't swing with your hips. Make sure you don't twist your hips. Whatever you do, stay upright and stay as well square with the floor and with the side you're doing it. You have two more. Full body, engage, and time, shake it off, breathe. You're doing amazing, and I'm super happy to be able to work out with you. Now, 
What do we say? Bend the knees, grab kettlebell, leave it on the side. We're going to pick up the dumbbells. Here, we're going to pretend we need to climb the ladders. Right leg is going to step back, shoulders away, elbows 90 degrees. You will reach and climb those ladders. Try to go with your biceps close by to your ears. Exhale and inhale. Don't forget to breathe. Front knee, stabilizer, back heel of the floor. So as you step, front knee stays 90 degrees, back knee drops. And keep those hands to the ceiling. Peripheral vision can tell that they are close by. Just be mindful of your space. That's good. You have four more. Three, two, one. Get back in the middle. Shoulders down and back. We're doing the superset. Open, reverse fly. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Get them close by to your spine. Feel stretch across the chest. Elbows slightly bented. Eyes gaze one meter up front. Let's do it. Brace your belly. Yes. You got this. Woohoo. We're getting warmer, don't we? Four. Three. Two. And time. Shoulders down and back. Leave these. Give yourself a shake. Stretch the delts as well. A few seconds of rest. Grab some water if you need. We're going to repeat everything on the other side, which means we're going to use the left leg, hip square, shoulder square, to step back. Stabilize this position, number one. From the side, step back, heel off the floor. And this is the leg that bends. And then we're going to bring the add on, which are your weights. We're going to do it together. Okay, left leg steps back, shoulders down and back, elbows 90 degrees, shoulders naturally down. Left arm and right arm. Yes, you got it. Woo. You're doing amazing. And it's almost halfway there. Nice work. Stretch arms, up and down. Oh yeah, four more. Three, two, one, and time. Reverse fly, open, breathe. Brace your belly, squeeze the shoulder blades. Yes team, you got it. Keep moving, eight more. Seven, six, five, four. Oh yeah, it's getting warmer here. Two, and time. Shoulders down and back. Great work. Now, if the dumbbells are your solution, or you wanna still work with kettlebell, if you're having something that is over 20 pounds, like I just used, 25 pounds, you're more than welcome to switch with something smaller. We're gonna focus on the longer levers where we need to work on our strength. Let's put it that way. So, bend the knees. Smaller guy. If you're using, you can use it in a basket position. If it's too big, you can always reverse it and hold it for the horns. So, shoulders down and back. We will bring front. Press, triceps, front, there we go, press, triceps, make sure as you're stretching arms, bend the elbows, arms in front of the chest, don't lift the shoulders, so no these moves, squeeze, brace your belly, that's good. There we go. 
Nice. Simple motion, right? But guess what? With more of these reps, we really can create amazing results. Everything is about the attitude as well as performance. When you are more comfortable about doing certain moves, your results showing up faster. So, if you're feeling uncomfortable right now, keep working, grin hard. Till your body tells you, hey, you're doing great. Let me show you results now. That's good, two more. Now we're gonna bring the add-on. Last one, triceps up and down. You can grab here. We will bring deadlift up and then again. Deadlift up. See how I'm trying to pull that kettlebell to secure it from the handles to the neck. Down, grip, up and again. Down, grip, up and again. That's good. Keep going. Three more. Two. Last one. And time. Keep the kettlebell. The next one. If you have slightly sensitive knees, try just to go into a squat or put mat or towel that will prevent any possible knee injuries. We will go into double kneeling and then halo around our neck. I, when you're doing halo, I want you to focus to keep those biceps very close to your head. It can spoil your hair probably. You'll need to fix it a little bit later, but we're gonna, don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> so, you will use your right leg, halo, come on up. And then gonna alternate the leg and alternate the side. Yes! Be mindful as you're stepping down, keep those toes digged in. That's good. Nice. Keep going. Ooh. Two more. Last one. There we go, team. And time. Ooh. Leave these little guys. Shake it off. Everybody good? Grab some water. Next round we're gonna use with dumbbells. Okay team. We will work a little bit on our obliques. So we're gonna get the double to the side. We forget how small moves can bring such a great result. Power on our sides is necessary in a lot of movement. That's good. Keep going again. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. I designed today workout so everybody can do it. So don't worry if there is little injury or overwhelmed on certain muscle group, you can still do it because it's slightly lower impact, don't you think? But you change the dumbbell weight or the weight of your kettlebells and you add on. Three more, two, and time. From here, lunge with hands straight to the front. Keep going. Boom. Beautiful. Love it. Arms nice and long, chest level. Big step back, don't be afraid. Your glutes are strong enough to hold you. That's good. And again. 
Beautiful. Four. Three. Last two each leg. One more, please. There we go. And time. Whew. Leave these. Sweaty time. I don't know about you, but these little guys, they always help to pump the heart rate up. And that's what we wanted. Goblet squat. How we perform good goblet squat. You're gonna focus to stand a little bit wider than your hips. Feet, you're gonna open slightly 45 degrees outside. Shoulders down and back. You will grab either kettlebell or dumbbell. Elbows stay close by to your rib cage. From here, you're gonna go lower you can, placing those elbows inside of your uh, knees and squeeze and come up. We're gonna down and up. That's good. If you're using a dumbbell, gonna hold your dumbbells. You can go with the two or with the one. Up to you. That's good. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now the add on. Double pulse down. One, two, and up. There we go. Squeeze your bum up, down, down and up. Moving too fast. Nope, you're just in a perfect rhythm. Music can be inspiration, it can be motivation. It doesn't mean that you need to always stay in the rhythm. You can do your own pace. Two more. Last one. And time, shake it off. So, the next move, again, dumbbell or kettlebell. It's gonna be an add-on for the weight extra on your body weight. Take a bigger step. You will move into side lunges, transferring the body weight from that middle to the other leg. Take your time, take it slow. Trust me, you have more workout doing it slow because we got used to it. Go, 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 go. Here, I want you to be in control, fully controlled. Squeeze your bum, transfer body weight, and go lower you can. Yes, love it. Nice, elbow slightly out so you can control the kettlebell or dumbbell. Stay with me and I'm sure you're going to feel your bum very soon. Lower back as well, but mostly you should be feeling your glutes. If you're feeling your lower back, squeeze your abdomen more. That's good. Stay with me for more. Three, two, and time. Woo. Shake it off. You're rock stars. Just FYI. Nobody told you today, I'm gonna to repeat multiple times because you are a rock star. Right leg or left leg, whatever side you take, you're gonna go into single leg, deadlift, stretch. You're going up to half shin. That leg stretches, not higher than your hip level. So squeeze, 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 and come on up. You're working on your lower back, glutes, as well as the quads especially on your stabilizer foot, which is the one that you're not lifting from the floor. There we go. Stay with me. Yes, yes, yes. Keep going. You have one more here. And time. Perfect. Now, we've done one leg, which means we still need to do the other one. To empower both sides equally, we're gonna get back to that side lunges, slow, and then 
do the opposite side. Whatever side you pick, you make sure you're pushing your bum back and then you're folding your leg. And take it slow. And then take it low. You got the steam. I prefer keeping my feet slightly open, but still a majority facing the front. Then you feel start those inner thighs. I know, stubborn muscles. But you got that. You will put them in shape. Just don't give up. Take it slow. I dare you, take it slow. That's yeah, good. Four more. Three, two, and time. Slowly coming up. Opposite leg that haven't worked yet. Shoulders down and back. You will let that kettlebell slightly drive you and up. And as you can see, one side might be more dominant than your opposite one. So, if you're slightly unstable here, that's perfectly fine. There's no such a thing as perfection. We just work towards progressions. Eyes gaze on the floor, kind of one meter up front. And again, squeeze your bum. Arms just dropping down. Let the gravity do the thing. Whoop. And again. That's good. Three more to go. You're doing great, team. Last one. And time. Leave the kettlebell. Whew. Shake it off, shake it off. For the last round. Now I'm gonna put you to sweat just a bit. I want you to give me fast feet, to shake it off, whatever we've done here, and to start curling down. Oh yeah. Woo! Out, out, in, in. If that is too much, you can always, you know, take a breather here. But for those who are competing, Right now, show me what you got. You got this. 15 seconds left. Woo! You got it, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna throw a few basketball tricks here. Shoot the hoop. You're not jumping. Stretch those heels off the floor. There we go. Boom. Let's sweat it out a little bit. You cannot take cardio out of me. I'm a huge cardio lover. So, we can do the strength workout but there will be just a bit cardio at the end three two one and time oh yeah okay team across the chest nice work nice hanging out today with you I hope you enjoyed this is gonna be always quick in and out everything up to 30 minutes is worth it if you don't have time no excuses you can check these videos anytime and do these workouts anytime you can that's good grab the foot squeeze yes Keep other, other foot, knees together. Brace your Step to the front, lean. Feel nice long stretch here. That's good. 
If you can, lift the toes as well and reach. That's good. Breathe. Switch other side. Step back. Bow. It's my, my, my pleasure today working out. Whew. I think I've said that already. But I care and I love you guys. Beautiful. Take the breath in. One more. My name is Mia and it was a pleasure working out with you today. Stay with Altea Active at home. <laughs>